guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about my least used luxury items for 2017. Guys, there's a pattern here. When you take a look at the items that I almost never use in 2017, you understand why. But these are items that I really like. These are items that I loved for the most part and I have chosen not to sell them, but they're still in my closet and I'm just not using them as much as I should. These are luxury items that a lot of people would actually use a whole lot more than I do or rather than I have, but for some reason I just wasn't reaching for them. I just didn't feel as though I should use them. Maybe their comfort level wasn't optimal or maybe it was too bright as far as the color, it was too selective. Whatever the reason is, I don't know why, but I'll be sharing with you today my five least used luxury items in 2017. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I release videos once or twice a week and I cover a wide variety of topics from luxury to career choices to lifestyle. I have a wedding playlist as well and just, you know, fashion and life in general. So be sure to hit the subscribe button. So let's go ahead and get started. And also, in the converse, I released a video covering my seven most used luxury items for 2017. So be sure to check that out. I think it's really fun, you know, going through your closet, going through your pictures and realizing, wow, I used this items a lot in 2017 and I did not use these items a lot in 2017. And that can also help you influence what you're going to do in the next year, how your style is going to evolve, if at all it's going to evolve, what's going to change, and how things are going to you know, come together. So the first item that I didn't use as much in 2017 for some weird reason is my Chanel brooch. I really, really love this brooch. I feel as though it's very selective and I just didn't find myself reaching for it as much as I wanted to. You've seen it in many pictures, you've seen it in my previous vlogs. It has crystals all over. I think I probably wore this brooch like three times last year. And when I got it, I was convinced that I was going to wear it a whole lot. But still, the fact that I only wore it like three times last year doesn't mean I'm not going to wear it this year. Or doesn't mean I'm not going to get a wear out of it this year. No, and it's also not slated for me selling it at all. I'm still going to make sure that I use it. But for some weird reason, in 2017, it just did not incorporate into my closet as much as I would have expected it to, which, you know, it's very odd. But hey, so that's number one. Number two is my light purple patent Christian Louboutin Pigalle pumps. I got these for my birthday in 2016, I think. I liked the color, I liked the pop of color it provided, I liked the option compared to my other black shoes and, you know, beige and burgundy. It just provided a little different, you know, feel, if you will. Anyway, didn't quite happen, didn't use this as much as I expected or as much as I thought I was going to use it, which was very, very, very disappointing, but I still haven't decided whether or not I want to sell it. If I do, I may deal with some issues with regard to the scuffing. Because again, you never buy anything with the intention of selling it immediately, except you're buying it for you know, investment purposes. So as much as I took care of it, it did scuff and I have to decide whether or not I'm going to sell it. It's actually on my potential sell list for 2018. And also, the problem is it's a tad small. It's size 39 and a half and I'm a true 40. I got it because I wanted something snug because I bought a 41 before. It's different based on the designer and, and based on the type of shoe. So I have the Pigalle, I have the Silkate, I have the Apostrophe and they all kind of have like different sizes so you have to be careful. Anyway, this is my second least used item for 2017. Hopefully things change and I get to wear this a lot more in 2018. Number four and number five, I'll just hold them together. They're both from the same family. These are YSL clutches. This is nude and this is, you know, bright red, lipstick red. I love these clutches, guys. But their calf skin, they're so delicate. Every time I carry it, I feel as though I find a new scuff or a new line or something that wasn't there before. And that really dissuades me from using it because it's so fragile. That's why I'm probably never going to buy anything Chanel with lambskin leather, calf skin leather, because it's really, really delicate. And also, you're not supposed to like one more than the other, but I like this because of the color and it's one of my favorite colors. You guys know that I love blush, I love pastels. So um, this is a major, major, major keeper for me. 
This filled the red clutch void that I had in my closet, if that makes sense. I felt as though I need a red clutch is something you need going forward, something you need to have in your wardrobe. And because of that, that's why I got it. Not because I particularly loved it. And for that same reason, that's why I'm still keeping it because I feel as though every woman needs a solid red clutch. But do I wear it as much as I would like to? No. And I also said the same thing in my luxury handbag tag video. This is the purse that I reach out for the least amongst all the purses that I have. So in 2017, these two bad boys did not get as much love as they should have. But also, I just got my Chanel 2017, so of course <laughs> I'll carry that more, so that makes sense. So I'm not selling any of these purses yet, hopefully, but for now, I will try to see if I can incorporate them in my outfit more in 2018, just so we can have a little change going on. And last but not the least, I think these are possibly the sexiest shoes that I own. I just never wear them, and last year was not an exception. They are my Christian Louboutin Animal Print Soke Pumps. I love these shoes, they are so sexy, it's real cough hair, it's very pretty, it sits very pretty in my wardrobe, but one, it's so cake, and if you know so cake, you know that they're virtually impossible to walk in. Two, it's very selective, I love animal print but in small doses, and when I decide to wear it, it has to be something that would elevate my outfit. So um, I'm going to try to wear this a little more, I got this for my birthday in 2000 and 15 and um, it's my favorite it's my favorite I would never part with these shoes hopefully I love them I love them I love them but if you can tell most of the shoes and bags that I didn't use in 2017 either had bright colors or had pattern or had colors or something compared to the shoes and bags that I used a lot in 2017 which were black or nude or you know just simple and very easy for me to style up or style down so I guess that tells you a little bit more about my personality so we'll see I'm excited to see what fashion is going to do this year how fashion is going to change this year if at all it is and how I'm going to incorporate little pieces you know for my wardrobe and hopefully add some versatility to my collection so we'll see anyway guys thanks for hanging out with me today thanks for watching my videos I truly truly appreciate every single subscriber that I have if you're not subscribed yet go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you do like this video please give it a huge resounding thumbs up um, it helps out the channel a lot and um, I will catch you guys in my next video thanks for watching guys